Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Relationship Haven. In today's story, OP found out his wife cheated on him with his co-worker after he went to work one day and noticed his wife's car was in the parking lot. When he approached the car, he saw his wife and his co-worker together and immediately knew something was wrong. He then confronted the affair partner and knocked him out. Justice was served. In today's second story, OP just caught his wife cheating on him a few days ago and needs advice on how to proceed. Now, let's get into today's stories. So to start off, I don't really like using platforms like this, but I need to let this out and vent somehow. So here I go. I and my wife have been together for 11 years, and I thought everything was good between us until recently. For some context, I work as a dispatcher for truckers, and it's a pretty good job. I get good benefits and I make enough where we can both be comfortable. My wife had a job with building gaming computers, but she lost it due to cutbacks. I've been the sole earner ever since and have been picking up a lot of hours. One day my car battery died on me, so I had my wife take me to work. And when we made it to the parking lot, I saw my coworker, Andrew. I waved at him and he walked over to say hello. And that was when I introduced him to my wife and she got into the car to shake his hand. He looked at me and said, you never told me that your wife was so beautiful. She blushed and I laughed, not thinking about it, saying, yeah, I'm lucky to have her. And then we both walked into work after I kissed my wife goodbye. A few days later, I was heading to my car for a lunch break and I couldn't help but notice my wife's car in the parking lot. I then walked towards it and saw her and Andrew talking and eating lunch in her car. I got upset but kept it cool and knocked on her window. She opened the door and said, Oh, I forgot to tell you that me and Andrew were having lunch today together. Then Andrew said, I hope you're not angry. I took a deep breath and said no, and I turned around and walked to the car because if I said anything else, it was going to start an argument. I could tell my wife was frustrated that I walked away like that, so later that day when I got home, she blew up on me, saying that I embarrassed her in front of Andrew. I told her, Why do you even care? And when did you even start to hang out with him? She responded by saying, I'm a grown woman and I don't have to tell you anything. Since then, she has been distant and I noticed she's been on her phone more calling and texting her friends, but I know that it's Andrew and don't want to accuse her and then get it wrong. Update. I talked to my friend and he gave me an Apple AirTag. I'm going to put it in my wife's car and trail her to see if I can find anything and also collect evidence so I don't get screwed over in court. Quick recap. My wife has been hanging out with my co-worker, Andrew, without telling me, and when I found out, she started getting distant from me, so I suspected that she's been cheating on me with him. When I started to suspect it, my friend gave me his airdrop, and I hid it in my wife's car and then followed her. She told me that she was going to see a friend, but I didn't believe it, so I followed her in my friend's car to make sure she couldn't spot me, and after a 20-minute drive, she drove up to a hotel. During that drive, I felt sick and my heart kept pounding. I was really hoping that I was wrong and she was seeing a friend, but instead I saw Andrew waving at my girlfriend and then I saw her running and jumping on this guy, then kissing him. I was so hurt and angry that I wanted to get out and beat Andrew up and then tell my wife to get all of her crap out of the house. Instead, I took my phone out and took some pictures, then drove off when I saw them walk into the hotel. I went home and cried, then punched a hole in the wall. I was feeling too many emotions at once. I called my friend and went over to his place, then showed him the pictures and started crying again. I screamed, 11 years down the drain. My friend gave me a hug and told me to get a lawyer and to keep stacking up evidence against her. I didn't know if I could keep up the face anymore, but I told my friend I'll try. During these past few weeks, I've been stacking up evidence and keeping my distance. I've seen them go to restaurants, movies, hotels, and every time it hurt, but I toughed it out. She always told me she was going out with her friends or family, but I never called her out on it and said, okay. I thought I could keep it up for at least a few more days, especially because the lawyer I'm seeing told me I have more than enough evidence to make sure I win and keep everything when we divorce, but I think I messed up yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday, and I wasn't really feeling it. My wife didn't even tell me happy birthday, but her parents did, and when I went to work, my co-workers got me a cake and some gifts. I tried holding back the tears because for a moment I forgot about everything, at least until I saw Andrew. He got me a gift, and I faked a smile and said thank you. 
When I opened it, it was the comic Batman, Death of the Family. I was actually surprised because no one at work knew I was into comics and DC was my favorite. When I told Andrew that, he said my wife told him, and then all I saw was red. Next thing I know, my co-workers are holding me back and Andrew is in the corner covering his nose and yelling profusely. Then I screamed, I know you've been screwing my wife, and everyone got silent and then looked at Andrew. He tried explaining it to me, but I didn't care. All I wanted to do was beat him up until he stopped moving. Next thing I know is my boss came in and sent Andrew home, then brought me in his office, and I told him everything, and then showed him some of the pictures. He apologized to me and gave me some time off to sort everything out and said he will deal with Andrew. When I got home, my wife was waiting, and she blew up on me saying that I was wrong for doing that to Andrew and that she talked him out of pressing charges for hitting him. Then she went on to say, Andrew makes me feel like a real woman and treats me right and knows how to make me feel special. I had enough and yelled, if he makes you feel special, go live with him and have him support you because I'm done. Then she had the nerve to cry and say that she was sorry. Plus, she tried saying how Andrew caught her at a moment of weakness, but I just took a deep breath and told her to get a lawyer because we're getting a divorce. She tried to apologize and said that she can't afford one and that we need to work on us, but I just looked at her and told her to pack up. She kept crying and begging, but I just got her suitcase and called her sister to come pick her up, but she locked herself in the bathroom, saying she won't come out until I was willing to work things out with her. I kept telling her that I didn't want to work anything out and we needed space, because when I see her, I feel angry and hurt. She finally got out and apologized, and then she packed her stuff and waited outside for her sister. Now I'm finally in the house alone, and I can't stop crying. I feel so many things, and I just don't know anymore. I'm going to see my lawyer tomorrow. Sorry if I was all over the place with my post. I'm just feeling horrible and emotional, but I'm planning on seeing a therapist soon. Wow, OP. It's very sad to hear that your wife could betray you in such a shameful way like that. She has absolutely no remorse and is trying to play victim here. The good thing is you've done everything you can to deal with this crappy situation. As you said, stack up the evidence you have against her and show her lawyer. She will be history. You need to divorce her ASAP and continue to go no contact with her. I'm glad you got revenge on her affair partner by completely making a fool out of him in front of everyone at your workplace. Hopefully your boss fires him so that you will never have to see that clown again, as well as your wife too. Best of luck to you, OP. Now let's get into today's second story. To give some background, me and my wife met when we were around 10 years old. We have had a thing for each other ever since, but only got serious when we turned 18. I knew she was infatuated with me and I was with her, so the only plausible next step was marriage. I proposed to her on Valentine's Day at a getaway weekend when we were 21 and the rest is history. We both make it work with money and our day-to-day lives. Everything was perfect in my mind. The infidelity began when I was using her phone. I saw texts from a guy from her work. This wasn't any direct flirting but was still odd and suggestive if you ask me. She'd say things like, I've had such a long day at work and he'd say they need to relax together and so on. I admit I have a temper and I was not about to let this happen. I told her she can no longer contact him and to block him in front of my face. I told her I would leave her if she didn't. She did everything I asked. So this brings me to Sunday night. I own a business with my cousin. We started it around age 20 and it really took off. We have an office where I sometimes sleep when the workload gets on top of me. So I text my wife from about midday saying me and my cousin are gonna probably be here all night. I'll order in so you can eat without me and don't wait up. Love you. She responded minutes later telling me she was a bit sad she wasn't going to see me that night, but wished me well with my work and said she loves me too. All was good. Fast forward to later that night. I decide the work had taken enough of my weekend and that I wanted to see my wife, who I thought also wanted to see me. So around 7 p.m. I began making my way home. When I got home, I heard talking upstairs but couldn't make it out So I went up, and there I saw my wife and the guy. I admit I didn't handle it the best I could have. I started by beating him up, and he tried to say, Look, man, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. I kicked him out of the house and sent him to walk home without his shoes. 
My wife was hysterical from the moment I walked in, and I came very close to getting physical with her, but I didn't. Through all of this, she cried and cried, saying it was a stupid mistake, but by this point, my concerns from the text messages were proved to be justified. I repeatedly told her to save her breath and that I did not want to hear any of the idiotic explanations she had. I considered going back to the office, but I said no, forget that, and told her to get her stuff and stay wherever she could. I wanted her out of my sight. She stayed with her best friend since. My phone has been blown up by her friends and family since, but I've ignored them. I told her dad what happened, though. He was livid and took my side. Since the first day, my anger has transitioned to sadness over the fact that our almost lifelong journey has been thrown away for some sleazy dude from her work. I have been staying busy, but would be lying if I said every idle moment I get hasn't been spent sulking, crying, or lamenting over what happened. I'm contacting my lawyer tomorrow morning to get our divorce rolling. Update. After the first post, I did quite a few things. Got STD checked, all clear. I signed my share of the business over to my business partner, my cousin, until the divorce is settled. I canceled her phone contract that I paid for, took down all pictures I had with her, and packed all of her clothes up. The STD check was negative, which was a good start, but still not enough to get me out of the dumps. The situation still had me upset. I was unable to forget about it due to her family and her family constantly blowing up my phone. I eventually went for a sit-down with her parents. Her mom attempted to talk me back into the family, whereas her dad knew I was a man set in my ways and was very disappointed in his daughter. This happened about two days after the post. I like her dad and believe we'll stay in contact due to the fact that we are both simple men who understand each other. I've always respected him, and it's a shame his daughter is stopping me from legally being his son anymore. As for her friends, who have called me more times than I could count, I just ignored them. I spent a lot of time with my friends and family, which helped. I had a friend come over, and we spent a few hours taking down pictures of her and taking all her stuff out of the house. This was very therapeutic for me and felt as though I was washing the stain from my life. It helped ten times more than I thought it would. Divorce proceedings are in order, however, I believe I'll have serious issues with her signing the papers and so on. I already signed away my share of my company so she doesn't get her cheating hands on that. I've gone complete no contact other than with lawyers, as you all suggested. I battled with the idea of using the man's wife as leverage in case he tried to press charges on me. I did lay hands on him when I caught him in my home. In the end, I thought, why not, and messaged her on Facebook. She initially believed me and then came back and said he told her that it's a lie. All I had to do was show her the doorbell footage of him entering my front door and being sent away without his shoes. I don't think he's happily married anymore. Now on to my next chapter. My mother thought it would be fun for me to come to her work Christmas party. I thought why not since I hadn't gotten out at all since the incident and deserved a little time out. I went and was introduced to one of her co-workers' daughters. We hit it off and actually left the party together, but didn't hook up that same night. A few nights before Christmas Eve, she came over and we properly hit it off. We hooked up numerous times and she ended up staying for two nights. Now she's no love at first sight, but she is a lovely woman who's most definitely keeping me in good company during the time I need it most. Christmas Day was harder than I expected as I spent it with my significant other for a while. However, my family was around me, keeping me fed, which helped a lot. Overall, I think I'm coping way better than I thought I would. Just wanted to say thanks again to everyone who reached out to me. OP, I'm glad to hear what has transpired in your life since finding out about the affair. You seem to be in a good place mentally and have things to be happy about. I'm hoping that the woman you just met can blossom into a healthy relationship. I do find it kind of concerning that you signed away your business during this time period. It may come across as suspicious to the court and seem like you have something to hide. Hopefully it doesn't work out that way though. I'm glad you are healing well from the situation and wish you all the best. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and comment below on what your thoughts are on today's stories. If there's a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Take care, everyone.